Hey there, quirky peeps. Today I'm gonna revisit the two precious live action MCU projects that came out before Hawkeye and No Way Home. Marvel introduced us to several new characters and concepts through Eternals and Loki. While Eternals opened up the universe to new possibilities, Loki gave us a crash course of MCU's vast multiverse. In fact, it actually began the multiverse. We tampered with the stability of space time. The multiverse is a concept about which we know frighteningly little. We got to know about variants and what happened to them when they drifted away from their established path. Loki and Sylvie changed things around the TVA. I run on my jet ski. Prune him. <laughs> but before that, the series referred to several other aspects of the MCU. We got to see the scrolls. The Kree were referenced. We got to visit Lamentus One. You idiot! This is Lamentus One! I don't know what I mean! The moon that planet is about to crash into and destroy! And even vampires were mentioned. You know, we brought in Kree, Titans, vampires. Why is it the two orphan demigods are such a pain in the ass? And yet it was your idea to bring in another one. But surprisingly, this series did not connect to the Eternals in any way. We never heard about the Celestials, Eternals, or Deviants from anyone at the TVA. It's obvious that the Eternals weren't familiar to the audience, so the creatives did not work out a connection between their film and Loki. But just like we got a reference to vampires and several other cosmic beings, Loki could have easily planted seeds for the Eternals as well. Might never do it again, because it got old. <laughs> okay. I mean, it would have been an eye-opener for people, as they would have been even readier to watch Eternals. But none of that happened. The Eternals had been on Earth shaping the future of mankind for thousands of years. We have watched. Unguided. We have helped them progress. The movie mentioned events like Thanos' snap to let us know that they were a part of the MCU. Five years ago, Thanos erased half of the population of the universe. But the people of this planet brought everyone back with a snap of a finger. There were even mentions of Tony Stark, Captain America, and Thor. But we never really saw where the Eternals were in any of the Avengers battles. This movie could just as easily take place in another universe of MCU's multiverse, where Thanos' snap had also happened. I am inevitable. But obviously, that's not the case. Although, we still want to know why there was no mention of the Eternals in the film. Well, it could just be a coincidence that the TVA knew about them, but their topic never came up. But there's a reason why we never even saw an Eternal being pulled into the TVA or being pruned by them. And we did perhaps get a nod to the Eternals and Loki. The Eternals were supposed to get Earth ready for the emergence. This is probably what the Sacred Timeline decreed for them. But it's also possible that some of them may have deviated from their paths before the demise of He Who Remains. We all know that all Eternals did not agree with their purpose. Cersei, for instance, was not ready to sacrifice the people of Earth for a Celestial. So maybe there was a reality where she came to know of her true purpose much sooner than she did in the Sacred Timeline. In this reality, she would have tried to help the humans. And that's what would have created a Nexus event. Ultimately, the TVA agents would have showed up to get her. And as soon as she or any other deviated Eternal would have been taken to the TVA, they would have been pruned even before a trial. Why, you may ask? Well, check out this scene. What if I was a robot and I didn't know it? The machine would melt you from the inside out. Please move along, sir. Robots are not allowed in the TVA. Their bodies are destroyed right before they are supposed to get tickets for their trials. After watching Eternals, we all know that they were not born organically. They are robotic beings created by Erishem at the World Forge. So, if an Eternal variant was ever created and brought into the TVA, then he or she would have been fried immediately. Yes, very sad. Okay, that's all from us. What do you guys think of this analysis? Let us know in the comments. Hit the subscribe button and give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Also, don't forget to check out some more fun content on our channel. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!